What's hiding in your belly that could be killing you? Thousands of people are unaware of the silent assassin lurking in their pancreas. Are you one of them? Watch to uncover the shocking truth and learn the eight deadly symptoms of pancreatic disease you need to know now. Number one, indigestion. Dyspepsia associated with pancreatic diseases is a condition that arises when the pancreas is incapable of secreting enough enzymes for digestion. This is seen in chronic pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, cystic fibrosis, among other illnesses. The low levels of produced enzymes, specifically known as exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, EPI, results in poor digestion and absorption of nutrients. These may be upper abdominal pain, bloating, gas, nausea, and so on. However, these patients become full easily and soon after taking food, particularly food that is fatty. Dietary fat is poorly digested because the enzyme lipase is absent and thus fatty, salty-smelling diarrhea occur, which are commonly known as steatorrhea. Treatment for this indigestion includes supplementation with pancreatic enzymes, dietary modification to low-fat diets, and the use of analgesics, among others. Due to the nonspecific nature of some of the symptoms and the complexity of some of the operations, it is imperative that pancreatic diseases are identified and treated early so as to avoid complications and also to ensure that the quality of life of the patients is improved. Professional healthcare checkup is recommended to the patient to manage the condition properly. Number two, stomach or back pain. Abdominal or back pain secondary to pancreatic disease is characteristic of complaints, including chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer. This pain normally starts from the upper abdominal region and can travel to the back with the patient experiencing a boring chronic pain. Pain in chronic pancreatitis is caused by persistent inflammation and damage to the organ tissue, whereas in pancreatic cancer, it could be due to tumor compressing nerves and organs. When present, the pain is aggravated on ingesting food, especially foods high in fats, may be accompanied with nausea vomiting, patient may also present with weight loss. The management of this pain is done while addressing the primary pancreatic disorder in the patient as they take pancreatic enzymes, pain relievers, changes in diet, and occasionally surgery. This is why early diagnosis and proper treatment affirmations are essential to decrease pain and consequently increase the client's quality of life. The use of periodic checkups to the doctor is crucial for the management of pain as well as recognize the emergence of new features of the disease. Number three, loss of appetite. The loss of appetite is a major sign which may be linked with one condition or another, ranging from pancreatic disease. In conditions such as chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer, the production of digestive enzymes is disrupted, and this combined with poor working of the organ results in pain in the abdomen, mainly after a meal. This discomfort can be frightening enough to make people not want to eat anymore, causing a lowered appetite. Also, inflammation elicited by the body to these diseases suppresses metabolism and the hormones that lead to appetite, hence no desire to eat. Anorexia in pancreatic disease results to weight loss, malnutrition, and overall poor health among the patients. This simply implies that the common management strategies are directed on management of the primary pancreatic disorder through administration of enzymes, pain relief, as well as nutritional interventions aimed at improving the patient's appetite. Small, frequent meals, and perhaps nutritional supplements, may also help a person take in enough vitamins and minerals. It is very important to see the doctor as soon as possible and receive constant checkups to manage this symptom and avoid potential aggravation of the situation. Number four, jaundice. Some of the signs that are commonly associated with pancreatic diseases include jaundice, which is a condition that is characterized by the yellowing of the skin and the eyes and can also be attributed to pancreatic cancer. This is the case when there is a cancerous growth in the pancreas and this growth affects the bile duct hence no flow of bile to the intestines. Therefore, a hue known as bilirubin, found in the bile, settles in the blood and forms tissues resulting to development of jaundice. Some other manifestations of jaundice may include 
passing of black-colored urine, pale, and clay-colored stools, and pruritus. Jaundice could also be observed in patients with chronic pancreatitis, in case the inflammation or scar tissue causes obstruction of the bile duct. The possible diagnosis may include imaging studies to locate the obstruction and blood tests to establish bilirubin concentration. The goal of management thus lies in addressing the obstruction by means of surgical processes, the use of stents, or other methods to enhance bile drainage. It is proven that treating the primary pancreatic disorder is crucial in managing jaundice and was ranked as the eighth essential element in improving patients' outcomes. Some of the complications that are associated with prolonged jaundice can only be treated if diagnosed early. Number five, changes in bowel habits. Regarding nonspecific symptoms, alteration in bowel habits, especially diarrhea, are apparently due to exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. For example, in chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer, the organ's ability to release enzymes to break down food worsens the situation, hence malabsorption occurs. This leads in conditions such as steatorrhea, where feces are oily and have unpleasant smells, and worst of all are often hard to wash down the drain because they are full of undigested fats. Also, patients may have diarrhea or constipation as the digestive processes may be interrupted by the treatment. These alterations in the bowel movement cause considerable pain and malnutrition a long time later. These symptoms are usually treated through PERT to help with digestion issues, modifications of the patient's diet to assimilate nutrients effectively, and medications for constipation or diarrhea. Hence, it becomes essential that any form of pancreatic disease is diagnosed and treated in its early stage to enhance digestive function and subsequently the qualities of life among patients. Concerning the follow-up, it is well known that most chronic illnesses need frequent medical checkups so that essential adjustments to the treatment plan can be made. Number six, blood clots. The clot formation is regarded as one of the severe consequences of the development of pancreatic disease, including pancreatic cancer. This is due to the reasons that cancer itself leads to activation of clotting factors and leads to decrease in the levels of anticoagulant factors in blood leading to hypercoagulable state. Further, it can be pertinent to note that the spread of cancer is characterized by certain tumors that is capable of exerting pressure on blood vessels to deliver inadequate blood flow and thereby encourage clots formation. Signs of blood clots include tenderness, warmth, and redness, typically in the legs where deep vein clots form or increasingly severe if a clot touches the lungs causing chest pains, shortness of breath. Blood clots are treated through the use of anticoagulant to avoid formation of additional clots and to minimize on the onset of severe consequences. In some circumstances, the treatment of the primary pancreatic disease can also reduce the risks of clots, whereby surgeries, chemotherapies, or radiation therapies may be useful. They include regular monitoring and timely follow-up in case of the development of this risk, so as to enhance patient outcomes. Number seven, weight loss. Weight loss is one of the early manifestations of pancreatic diseases, including chronic pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. Digestion also involves secretion of enzymes from the pancreas that helps in the breakdown of the food taken. When a person's pancreas is abnormal, then the production of enzymes is also affected and nutrients present in the food are not properly absorbed. This can lead to fairly rapid weight loss because the body cannot digest fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and nutrients successfully. Moreover, strengthening the effect of energy expenditure obliged by a diseased pancreas is the inflammatory process occurring within the patient's body. Considering the fact that pain and nausea are characteristic symptoms of many diseases of the pancreas, it can be assumed that a decrease in appetite accompanies this symptom. In pancreatic cancer, there exist altered metabolism relating to the tumor and cancer cachexia, which leads to rapid loss of weight and muscle. To control weight and weight loss, connected to pancreatic disease, nutritional intervention, enzyme supplementation, and treatment of the root cause of the poor digestion and absorption of nutrients is employed. Number eight, newly diagnosed diabetes. Diabetes newly diagnosed may be associated with pancreatic disease, 
such as chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer. The pancreas is responsible for secretion of the insulin hormone, which is very vital in the regulation of glucose in the bloodstream. Diabetes is one of the diseases arising from the damaging of the pancreas, and thereby its ability to originate insulin. It is also referred to as pancreatogenic or type 3C diabetes, which develops following CP after pancreatectomy or in the presence of severe pancreatic dysfunction. However, type 3C diabetes is different from type 1 and type 2 diabetes because it results from direct pancreatic dysfunction. Some signs may include weight loss, nausea, stomach or belly bum, and trouble in swallowing food and vomiting. After diagnosing pancreatic disease in a patient with diabetes, the blood sugar levels and the status of the pancreas are assessed by the use of imaging and blood tests. Management of this disease therefore requires innovative approaches, and these are blood sugar regulation and comprehensive treatment of the patient's pancreatic disorder. This may include insulin therapy, enzymes, and a change of diet and exercising to check both diabetes and the health of the pancreas. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and take control of your health. Hit that like button, share this video with your loved ones, and don't forget subscribe for more health-related content. See you in the next video. Till then just remember, health is wealth.